Hi guys, this is Patricia from Yoni Cat Crochet, and this is a happy mail video. I got a birthday card in the mail um, from Neva from Manic Mama's Musings, and this is also a um, yarn unboxing video. <laughs> um, I got one of the um, uh, those. Um, Oh my gosh. Secret bags of yarn from Lion Brand that they had just recently. Um, mystery bags. There you go. <laughs> but first, the birthday card. Um, I won't show you the front because it has addresses on it. And I tore that a little bit. I need to keep that. But anyway, um, but this is a birthday card. Um, I love getting them even after my birthday because then it just makes the birthday just keep going. So it's awesome. It says, everyone wishes you a happy birthday. And look, it's a little Kage on the front <laughs> and these cute little two puppy dogs. It's from Hallmark. It's so pretty. <laughs> Let me see if I can read it. Um, Oh, I will keep that message to myself. But the inside of the card says, except the cat, he couldn't care less. <laughs> Happy birthday from everyone else, though. Love, Neva. Oh, that is very, very sweet. I love it so much, Neva. Thank you so much. Um, you have become a really good friend to me. And um, uh, as soon as I can, I wasn't able to do this week's... Um, crochet along because I've had so much going on what with the contest for Kage and um, with everything I'm trying to do for the booth but I I've found um, some projects that are going to be easier for me to do and I will jump back in there and um, catch up maybe maybe do a couple of them in a row to get caught up with the rest of you guys because I know today is the day you put out your new video and I haven't got anything made yet but anyway big big hugs and I just love this so much it's going up somewhere and he's going to probably end up in a frame because I really really love that picture it is so adorable but it says everyone wishes you a happy birthday except the cat he couldn't care less <laughs> Yeah, that's probably right, too. He's, he, he wants his food, and, um, you know, and ever since he's become uh, a, uh, he's getting his five minutes in the limelight right now because of the contest, he's a little uppity. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so, so, so much. And um, so on to the yarn opening. Um, this is, like I said, the mystery bag of yarn that you get. And it's pretty big. That's pretty heavy for um, a mystery bag of yarn. So I have no clue uh, what's in it. So I got a new, um, also some happy mail from my mom. This is a, um, it's a, a safety blade. You can put it like really low so you don't, you know, cut your yarn. Oh, and there's supposed to be something surprise in here, too. Not just, um, I love the way you hold it and that you can adjust it. Uh, and it's also, it's a ceramic blade, but like you could do this. Now, if you pressed really hard, you may hurt yourself, but um, I can do that all day long and not cut my finger. I'm running my finger along the blade. It didn't cut me, but it did cut the package. <laughs> So isn't that nice? I just cut it a little bit because I don't want to. So we get to see what the surprise was along with the yarn too, which I think is really cool. Sorry about the sound. Let me get this open. Oh, and I can already see the surprise is a project bag. Let's hope. It's the hat not hate tote. 
Isn't that awesome? Oh, I hope I didn't ruin the surprise. I should have said disclaimer. <laughs> if all y'all are getting one. But isn't it cute? It's got little hats on the back. And, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool uh, canvas bag. Isn't that awesome? I will proudly use that. Probably put all my leggy froggies in there. I'm going to show you guys um, a crochet catch up. And it's going to have my little leggy froggy that I made. Oh my gosh. I know I'm behind everybody on those, but <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. I'm kind of high on the contest that Kage's in right now. And, <laughs> and the fact that I made an Amigurumi with eyes and everything. But anyway, let's see what the yarn that I got in the bag. There is a lot, and I am so glad I did not order any more of this It's Greek yarn because I got it in this. <laughs> I got it in this one, and I'm not cussing. It's the name of the yarn. <laughs> but so I got one teal. Um, it looks like this is going to be all Schitt's Creek yarn. Um, they might be wanting to, you know, sell it out. So if you guys really like this yarn, I'd start buying you some because if it's going in these mystery bags, they're probably trying to get rid of it. And it is a very nice yarn. I've used this yarn and um, I was using it in my temperature blanket. It's a very soft, it would make any projects. I still have quite a bit of it. So, um, you know, I'll be making axolotls <laughs> out of these um, because I have, you know, quite a lot. I never did finish the temperature blanket. It's probably not going to get finished. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been bad, <laughs> but I just, I don't, I don't like doing temperature blankets. I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to do one again, <laughs> but I still have the yarn left from that. And then the blanket part that I did finish is probably going to end up being a blanket for Kage or Harley <laughs> because I just don't want to, I don't want to. So I've got a teal and a pink. Oh, and these names, the, oh, let me read you the specs. I'll read you the specs. Um, in case you get on there and want to buy any, it might even be clearance. Um, it's a four weight, seven ounces, 200 grams, 372 yards, 340 meters. It recommends a five millimeter, I think. If I'm reading that correctly, it's five millimeter crochet hook. Um, you can wash it and dry it. Um, I'm assuming on low because it's 100% acrylic. And it's very, very soft. So, oh, and the names. They have a really cute names from the show. It's, um, this one is Moira's Rose. She has a rose garden in the film. I know this one is Shared Wall because I can remember. In the movie, they, uh, or the sh TV show, they live in a hotel. And there's a shared wall in between their two hotel rooms. The kids have a room and the and the parents have a room and the wall is colored this teal color oh let me look again make sure i'm not telling you the wrong yeah shared wall <laughs> i thought i was correct and this one is fold in the cheese <laughs> she always says uh she's doing this um recipe with them and she goes it says fold in the cheese david <laughs> but anyway yeah fold in the cheese and in the french Incorporez le fromage. <laughs> I'm sure I'm botching that. So we have those three. And then this one, I'm not sure what the name of this one is because I don't think I got any. Boho Brown. And this one is Cafe Tropical. I know because I have some of this. Yep. And it's all the same. Um, uh, specs. Oh, I needed some of this. I, I love this gray. Um, it is called, I think this one's Finding David. Let me see. I'm trying to find him. I'm sorry. Yeah, Finding David. It's a beautiful gray. 
It would go really good with the pink. It would make something really nice or with black or just by itself, but it's very soft. I love it so much. If they do have this on clearance, I might get back in and out. Now these, I don't know if they still are, but they were $14.99 and, um, and you got, um, this one had one, two, three, four, five, six balls of yarn and the tote. Um, as a matter of fact, I can put all this yarn in the tote till I go put it up on my shelf. That way it won't get dusty. We'll see how much this tote can hold. <laughs> Yep, there are six balls of yarn. And it holds it pretty good. It's a pretty big tote. Pretty big. Because the balls of yarn are really big. I, I think I told you there's seven ounces. So seven times six is 42. So it's 42 ounces of yarn and a tote. So I think for $14.99, that was a really good deal. I can't remember how much they are. I want to say they were like, $8.99 or $9.99 a piece. I don't know how much they are now, but um, that was well worth my $14.99. Um, I, I think pretty good. I think I got a good deal. Um, also, I got some other Happy Meal, but it wasn't um, a present. It was something I ordered from Ever Emblem, www.everemblem.com, and it was... Um, uh, labels for my, uh, um, labels for my, um, channel, or not my channel, for my booth for when I make my, um, little, uh, crocheted items, um, to sew onto the hats and the shawls, mainly for the hats and shawls because so that you know which is the back like where the seam goes and stuff um i don't i just want people to know where the back is and um these are printed on cloth paper and um sorry i'm trying to that may be the only page or there could be two pages i forget how many i got yeah, it might be that is it. I don't know. Here's a little card. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is just one page there. I forget how many there are, but um it says uh Handcrafted for you by at Yarny Cat Crochet. That way people can find me. <laughs> um, they could look it up. But isn't it cute? It's a little cat. A Yarny Cat. <laughs> He's got a little sweater on. So, you know. It would have been nice if I could have got one with like a ball of yarn on there. But there was, you know, just so many to pick from. And that's cool. It was uh, fairly inexpensive. I forget. Um, how much I paid for it, but um, you can get on there and find out the prices. I got it off of Etsy from Ever Emblem, and um, I think it's just the cutest thing. And then it's cheaper if you get them in the sheet and cut them yourselves, but they will also cut them for you. Um, but it's not going to hurt me to cut them, so I got the cheaper option. And you get to pick your um, you get to pick your design and your font. You know, there was all different kinds of ways you could have put it. And you put whatever words you want on there. But that's what I wanted. And that's what I got. And it looks very special to me. And it has a backing on it that helps it um, for you to hand sew. There's different ones. They have iron-on ones. Like if you make things that won't melt when you put an iron on it. <laughs> but yarn will melt. So um, I had to get the ones where I just sew them on myself. But I thought those were very cute, very worth it. Um, the price wasn't prohibitive to me. And um, I will put her little card on here. If you want to take a screenshot of that, please excuse my fingers. I've been working on stuff all day. <laughs> um, but if you want, sorry, 
I'm going to also put the link in the description, but if you want to take a screenshot of their card, um, there it is. And, um, oh, there's a QR code. There you go. Um, oh, that's to reorder my labels. Okay. Well, if you want to reorder my labels, you can, but, um, you don't have to do that. You can go to, um, uh, Oh, you can use that discount right there. It's discount welcome at www.everemblem.com. So that's really cool. I'll share that with you. And um, yeah, but if you need labels for your crocheted items, please go check her out. I really love promoting small businesses. And um, so I am. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's all the uh, happy mail for today. Oh, <laughs> but there's more happy mail coming. Um, and uh, there is also Premier is having, I think, um, some mystery bags for cheaper. If you want to go check out Premier's uh, website, um, Premier Yarns. Uh, so anyway, um, get you a mystery bag and film you a um a yarn look video okay so that's all uh, i've kept you for too long and i will see you guys in the next video yeah. don't forget to be a little joy bomb in your corner of the world and if you would um uh visit my uh video that i put up previously with kage's link in it um he's in a contest to be America's favorite pet and last time I checked he was currently in third <laughs> um and it would be mean a lot to me you get one free vote a day there's also uh where you can pay for votes which I don't expect anybody to do but um it goes to a charity um the the information on the charity is in the website if anybody wants to do that uh, you're more than welcome, but I'm not asking anybody to pay any money to vote. But if, if you would vote, uh, today and vote as often as if you would like, the first cut is in 10 days and, um, I'm sure everybody is going to be voting, um, uh, for their, uh, we can't vote for our own animals, but, um, we can vote for other people, one free vote a day, um. I'll have to get on there and see all the people and uh, pick a, another pet to vote for. But if you guys would vote uh, every day, I would be so grateful. But I'm not expecting everybody to take their time to do that. But if they did, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't turn it away. <laughs> um, so if y'all could be a little joy bomb in your corner of the world, spread your craft, spread your passion, spread your joy. But um, if you don't have the time to do any else of that, um, at least as you're walking past somebody today, give them your best smile. You never know what they've been through and your smile could just turn their day around and it's true. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.